This video is brought to you by Big Idea Design. They make titanium pocket tools and pins, like the Bit Bar, which is a screwdriver with a pocket clip and bit storage in the handle, and the TPT and the TPT slide, which hold a standard utility knife blade. They also recently launched a titanium EDC wrench and offer pins like the TI Click, TI Arto EDC, and the TI Pocket Pro. To learn more about Big Idea Design, click the links in the description, and you can also use the coupon code BESTDAMNEDC for $5 off any purchase over $50. And if you do, it'll help support the show. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Taylor Martin. This is the Best Damn EDC, and it's time for another EDC Weekly. And if you're new here, I start off every single show since this is a community show with community announcements. First up, Carry Commission is off to a swell start. I'm sold out of almost everything. There are several Giltech rocks left. At the time of this recording, there are two ZFP ones left, but I'm going to go pick up some new ones. New being the key feature there. New ZFP1 Pride tools. And there are tons and tons of shirts. I'm about to roll out some new designs. Go check it out if you haven't already. You can just go to carry.best and it'll take you right to my store. It is one of the best ways you can support what I'm doing here by just buying this merch. And if you want a shirt, but you don't want damn on it, let me know because I know there are, I've gotten a ton of comments about that. So I could replace Best MEDC with Carry Commission and have two designs with just different words so that it's maybe a little more PG for some of you out there who don't want to walk around with a shirt that says Best Damn EDC on it. I get it. I totally get it. I am fine with wearing it. It's the name of my company. I wouldn't name my company that if I wasn't okay with it, but I understand. Next up, I know I have not chosen a winner for the June EDC Weekly just yet. I will do that, and I will announce it next week with next week's show, which will be the 50th. 50th episode of the EDC Weekly. Also, don't forget there is a Travex promotion this month where you buy any Travex wallet and you get a free Summit wallet, but also there is a giveaway. I'm doing a giveaway this month with Travex where I'm giving away 50 Summit wallets. So click the link down below. It is just first couple of lines in the description. Click the link down below, go there, sign up, and you could be a winner of one of 50 Summit wallets. And I think that's it for announcements. So this week, I really didn't have a theme again. I just went through, picked five awesome carries like you guys are getting so good with these submissions the gear is awesome it's hard to choose just five every single week i just don't have the time to feature more it takes long enough to edit just five as it is so with that said here are five awesome everyday carries from you guys and let's do the damn thing oh Boy, I've been struggling this week. Last week, Alex and I went on the first beach trip with the baby. It was a lot of fun, uh, but Sunday when we were packing up, I started noticing a little bit of a back issue and I thought it was just the bed and I tweaked my back or something. And I was like, you know what? I'll kind of take it easy and you know, see what happens. By Wednesday, yesterday, Alex had convinced me to go to the chiropractor. They took some x-rays. And I went back this morning and found out I have scoliosis. Pretty bad, actually. My spine is really, really curvy. And uh, that's why I hurt so bad. It's not getting better. I have been taking pain meds and icing it all week long, and I can still barely get around. Glad we now know what the cause is. <sighs> Here's to getting better, I guess. Anyway, let's, <laughs> let's get off that depressing note. The first submission this week comes from, I want to say, Nam Pham. Nam Pham. No idea, but you can find him over on Instagram at nam underscore no cock fam. Whatever, it's right here, like always. Anyway, this picture is awesome. It's got a little bit of a light flare. You've got some stuff in the foreground. You've got depth to this photo and it looks great and the gear is awesome. So first up in the bottom of the photo is his watch of choice. That's the Timex Expedition Field Chronograph in beige slash black. Next to that is his phone of choice. That is the iPhone 8 product red version in an OtterBox commuter case in black. And above the phone are his earbuds. Those are the Jaybird X4s. His wallet of choice in the top of the photo is the Herschel Hans Wallet Coin XL. And next to that, he also has a Zebra Z-Grip gel pen. Below all of that is his multi-tool. That's the Leatherman Wave Plus in black oxide. He also has an unnamed carabiner with his keys on it. And then finally in the far left of the photo is his flashlight. That's the Olay S2R baton, not the baton two. So that's the older version of the S2R. He says, hey, since I'm only 15 years old, I get a lot of my gear from family members as presents, such as my wallet, phone case, earbuds, and the carabiner. I use most of my gear daily, but some items such as my Wave Plus isn't allowed in school. So it usually only gets used during the weekend or summer break. My zebra pin is extremely useful when I forget to bring a pin with me to class. Surprisingly, I find myself using the S2R baton a lot more than I thought I would. I hear that a lot, that the, the flashlight is a lot more useful. I get a ton of questions still why do you carry a flashlight? Why not use your phone flashlight? 
Well, to be honest, the foam flashlight is not a flashlight. It's a fill light for taking photographs. So it just spills light in every direction. A flashlight is a controlled, directed beam of light. It's far more useful. Phone lights are good in a pinch. They're not as good as a flashlight. They never will be. That's that. You never know when you're gonna have to go digging around in the dark for something you need. The other items are quite self-explanatory. My watch tells the time and date. My earbuds let me listen to music. My wallet keeps cash and cards in my phone. Well, it's a phone. Also, I know that I am only 15. The contest doesn't matter to me. I just wanted to share my EDC with the channel. Well, thanks for doing it because it's a really, really great photo. Uh, you're one of the youngest people to submit. You have one of the best composition photos that has been submitted to the show. I love the details from the, the shadow from the window pane and the light flare. And that's the, I, I imagine it's a plant in the foreground. It's just a cool photo, awesome gear. Thank you for submitting. And you don't really have a second entry into the giveaway, but uh, so be it. The next submission comes from D Darty. You can find him over on Instagram at the same name, D Darty. This one's put together really, really well. It's a lot of copper, a little bit of titanium and some stuff that we've never seen here on the show before. First up is a titanium slash copper wedding band. That's in the top left of the photo. Below that in the organizer is the Monteverde USA Tools 60 ballpoint pen, as well as the Mech Army X3S in copper and the Boker Plus Quaken Mini also in copper. All of that is kept in the Hitchin Timber Engineer Caddy Mini. It also has a copper lozenge container that is in the bottom of the photo. And all of these things have leather lanyards with miscellaneous copper beads on them. In the middle of the photo is his wallet of choice. That's the Dango M007 Limited Edition Maverick Wallet. And above that is his knife, the Microtech UTX 85 TE with copper scales and a Tonto blade. He also has the Quiet Carry Shorty key organizer. To attach that to his keys, he uses the Mountain River Company quick release. And below that is his watch of choice, the Sunto Traverse Alpha in Stealth. On that, he has a black Zulu band with copper hardware. And finally, not pictured, is the Google Pixel XL, which he carries in an OtterBox commuter case. He says the ring used to be titanium and silver, but he copper plated the whole thing. And he says since the copper didn't plate the titanium, it actually became a copper and titanium ring. And he said he really likes the contrast between the two colors. He also says, I've worked hard over the past few years to get my gear down to a minimum. Although it has changed dramatically during this time, it has always had two knives, one for work and one for play. The flip action on the Quake and Mini is pretty awesome. So that's my fidget toy in the office. I keep it clean. The UTX has become a cut all go to. I float between that and a black Benchmade Mini Barrage, not pictured. I'm looking for a leather Zulu strap with copper hardware. I've tried the usual places like Amazon, eBay, Etsy, and the like. Big fail there. If anyone knows of a place that has them or will make one custom, please let me know. Love the channel, man. Keep it up. So as far as the watch band goes, you could see if some of the normal makers would do it for you. Just DM them and ask if they commission pieces. You can actually take the hardware from this one and make one out of that. There's crown and buckle and oh, I cannot think of it. Barton bands may have something if you look off Amazon, like on their own website, but there's one more and I cannot think of it. If I think of it, it'll be around here somewhere. But if anybody else knows of one, just let us know in the comments down below. But seriously, this is really awesome stuff. I, I miss my OTF. So I bought a Guardian Tactical Recon, a limited edition version, a number three of 10, and I got home and realized they're not legal in North Carolina. Well, last week I learned, no, they are legal in North Carolina. I just misread the laws. So I sold that thing at a decent price to the person who bought it from me. And now I regret all the things. I regret it so much. Here I am without my recon and I want one bad, but maybe I'll go Microtech just, just to get a feel for something different. They are headquartered in North Carolina and I would like to go do a video with them. Uh, we talked about it at Blade Show, so maybe I need to slide into that DM again. Anyway, this is an awesome carry. Thank you for sharing and you now have a second entry into the July giveaway. Next up, we have a submission from Nick Fagoni. You can find him over on Instagram at November Foxtrot EDC. Nick has a ton of really awesome knives and I started looking through his feed. We have a lot of the same knives. The one pictured here is the one I can't stop talking about. The JK 3.0. It is spectacular. One of my favorite things about this knife, if you flick it open hard, it doesn't happen. But if you do it slow, listen to this. If you open it kind of slow, hear that? Clink. It, it has this like, it rings when it opens. It's so cool. Anyway, I highly encourage you to go check out his Instagram account. He's got tons of great pictures, awesome gear 
tons of great knives. And first up in this photo, as I said, is the Something Obscene Company J Cape 3.0. That is the thumb stud version, not the flipper like I have. Underneath everything is the Mighty Hanks Game of Thrones Hank, and to the far left of the photo is the Urban Survival Gear TI Scribe version 2. His flashlight of choice here is the Phoenix E16, and then below that is Lucky Bastard Company Lip Balm, and to the far right of the photo is a Zippo lighter, which is the Novesk, Novesk? LLC. I'm not familiar with that, but maybe he'll tell us about it. Nick says, hey Taylor, this is the current version of my EDC. It changes up often, but these are the staples of what is usually in my pockets. The Something Obscene Company JK 3.0 is a well-built beast of a knife, as you know. It's been in my pocket more than anything else lately. It can handle anything I throw at it at work, and with the blade finish, it doesn't show any of the markings. It also has the best sound on lockup that I've ever heard. As a result, I flip the thing open constantly. The fidget factor is high with this one. Here, here, totally agree. We'll do it one more time just for good measure. Hmm, I love that ring, and I don't know why it rings. I've studied it, and I don't know what makes it clink like that. Whatever, it doesn't always do it, but only sometimes, and when it does, it's like music to my ears. Up next is the Mighty Hanks handkerchief. This one surprised me a bit as I wasn't sure how much I'd use it as a handkerchief, but I can tell you that it has absolutely become a permanent fixture of my EDC. I use it more than anything else in my carry, cleaning sunglasses, wiping my knife blade, cleaning my phone screen background for photos. The uses are endless, very useful addition to the EDC. The Urban Survival Guru TI Scribe V2 is an all around great pen, slim size, and it takes my favorite refills. It's lightweight and comfortable to write with for extended periods of time. I do a lot of writing daily, so this is important to me. The Phoenix E16 is probably the newest addition coming from the micro stream. I switched over because I wanted something with a low setting for small confined spaces. I don't always need crazy bright light. So far, it's been working out well for work. The Lucky Bastard Company Lip Balm and Novesk Zippo are in the pocket because it's nice to have non-chapped lips and a source of fire on hand if needed. The phone is an iPhone 7S Plus, which I used to take the picture. It has a generic card slash cash holder case, which is the reason for no wallet pictured. All in all, I'm happy with my carry as of now, but it's always evolving. Your Instagram slash YouTube are definitely a source for some awesome gear and great EDC ideas. Thanks for the content and keep up the great work. Nick. Thank you, Nick. Of course, I think this is awesome. The TI Scribe is one of those pins that I just have to add to my carry at some point. I've just never done it yet. Um, I'm looking to add more and more pins to my carry. And since you're here, I'm going to throw in a little Easter egg. I can't show you much. But this right here is all I can show you of a new pin that's coming out soon. If you want to see more about that and learn what that pin is, well, stay tuned to the channel. That's all I got to say. How about that? Anyway, thank you for sharing, Nick. Thanks for posting awesome pictures all the time and for validating my thoughts on the J-Cape. Um, I know I talk about it a lot, but that's because I think it's one of the most badass blades out there. I think this thing is really cool and a lot of people, their only problem with it is really the lightning bolt clip. I quite like it, to be honest. The only thing I wish this knife had different was a deep carry lightning bolt clip. That's it. That's all. Anyway, thank you for sharing. You don't have a second entry into the July giveaway. The fourth submission this week comes from Nick Johns. You can find him over on Instagram at nrj underscore media UK. And this one is just a solid budget carry. The only thing not budget, I, I can't get away with saying budget carry if there is one item that's not just bottom of the barrel budget item. You can have a budget carry where one item is a splurge, you know, maybe as a gift, maybe it's something you saved up for forever, but the rest is budget. Whatever, I'm gonna call this a budget carry. The only thing in here that's not super budget friendly is the Garmin watch. Anyway, first up the knife in the middle of the photo is the Spyderco Tenacious, all blacked out. And then next to that is the Streamlight Stylus Pro. Beside that is the Field Notes Notebook Expedition version with a Gerber shard and a Nitize Espiner on it. And above everything there is the Fisher Space Pin Bullet in black titanium. In the middle of the photo again is the Garmin Phoenix 5X. And then beside that is a microfiber cloth folded up as well as the Raphael Quality Goods Lean Essentials wallet. Nick says, I am a British Army photographer, so my days are very rarely the same. Because of that, I cycle through my gear pretty often. This is, I guess, my pocket dump, as I do also have a Maxpedition pouch, which is full of other things I carry every day. I will have to photograph that too. I just bought the Spyderco, so I will have to see how it fits into my day to day, as I am always in need of a knife when I inevitably don't have one on me, and I always end up rooting through my bag to get a Leatherman charge out. The blue microfiber cloth was bought for me by my daughter, so that's pretty special, as I do use that every day to keep my lenses and screens clean. The field notes and space pen are pretty much essential to me as a photographer, as remembering individuals' names, jobs, rank, etc. is critical to the photos I take and put out. I'm also making notes about possible stories and leads I find when out on jobs. And the fact I work in all conditions and locations, this combination of notebook and pen with the individual qualities 
makes for a winning combination for me. The Gerber Shard is something that has always become so second nature to have on me and use. I don't even think about it. From opening beers to tightening handles on frying pans, its uses are endless. I moved over to a minimalist wallet about three years ago. I was sick of carrying so many cards and stuffing receipts into a normal wallet. I came across Raphael Quality Goods while I was in Iraq and ordered myself one of their lean essentials with a custom monogram on it and I have never looked back. The multitude of features and the reliability of the Garmin make for a great military and outdoor watch. And as I live in Scotland, I do get myself out into the Highlands as much as I can. Thanks for your channel and content. Keep up the great work. Nick is looking for something. He says, I have really just got into EDC so this is my first set of things I carry. I would like to upgrade the flashlight as it is a bit long and cumbersome. Also, a way of carrying the field notes and bullet would be great as I have already lost one pin and just other advice slash ideas or cool gear. I think you already have a max Maxpedition pouch. You could go the way of Yellow Birch Outfitters, but getting one overseas is a little difficult sometimes. But there is no shortage of pen and notebook covers and holders that will hold that are made for field notes and a Fisher Space pen. So a little organizer like that will go a long, long way. And you can also pair one with a wallet so you don't have to carry an extra wallet. And I think that's honestly the way to go. But yeah, I, I think that's really all the advice I have to give. Awesome, Carrie. Thank you for submitting. And you now have a second entry into the July giveaway. The fifth and final submission this week comes from Daniel Soto. You can find him over on Instagram at Danny's underscore 92. And this, again, is just an awesome photo. So let's get right into it. First up in the center of the photo is the Apple iPhone 8 Plus. He keeps that in a Uvtech Northville phone case. It also has a moleskin notepad next to that and the Apache Pine Nomad wallet. On top of that is the Groove Silicon ring in green and he also has a Sharpie pin. Next to that is a handmade paracord bracelet, and below that in the bottom of the photo is the Apple Watch Series 3 on a finite olive green watch band. He has a Victorinox Tinker at the very top, a 60th anniversary edition with a paracord lanyard, and to the left of the photo is his key situation. On that, he has a Bic lighter with paracord wrap, a bottle opener, a tile mate, and an Apache Pine lanyard. He says, hey Taylor, I heard you would like to see more color in the submissions. Mine is subtle, but green is my favorite color. My EDC is still a work in progress, but this loadout is working for me pretty well. My iPhone is the center of it all. I do everything on it. I take and edit photos, mobile music production, watch all your videos. The moleskin is for light writing, parts numbers at work, grocery lists, phone numbers, etc. Just quick things I need to remember. The wallet is the first slim I've ever used that I actually like, but it's small and can carry all my cards and I can throw it in my pocket and not feel it. Groove ring is a replacement to my original wedding band that I lost at work. It's ironic because it's my wife's least favorite color. The Sharpie pen is my choice of pen for now as I am in a quest to find the perfect pen for me. It doesn't write like a marker, but also it doesn't write quite like a pen. I just like that it doesn't bleed through like a marker does. I work with a lot of paracord and I have made a lot of different bracelets, but this one is by far my favorite design and color. The Apple Watch was a Father's Day gift for my wife and it's the best watch I've ever owned. I loved being able to see all my notifications at a glance before I decide if I want to pull my phone out of my pocket. And I also like the analog inspired watch faces. The Tinker was given to me by my dad. I had always wanted a Swiss Army knife, but I knew my parents would never get me one. I would like to one day swap the scales as the original plastic scales scratch super easily. I like having my knife and all the other tools in one package when I'm not at work. I don't carry a lighter because I smoke. I use it for melting paracord ends, which I do a lot since I just started selling them on Etsy as EDC by Soto. And you never know when you need a lighter. Absolutely love the show. It has inspired me to be more conscious about what I carry every day. And he's also seeking something. He says, I'm looking for a better way to carry my keys. The weight of all the keys is actually stretching out the lanyard clip, something that I can clip to my belt loop and easily remove anything from without having to fumble everything around. Magnetic quick releases are great. You can use something like a snake hook, one of those little brass snake hooks like what I use. Oh, it's over here, I can't reach. Whew. So my keys, I put this over my belt and can pull my truck keys off. I have the Beta QR quick release from Prometheus Lights. And then my other keys I have on a little itty bitty carabiner. So that's my key situation right now. This has been the best key situation I've ever had. But one thing I'm interested in is the tail of knives. I don't know what they're calling it, but it's a little HK clip on a leather piece that you put on your belt, kind of like their belt holsters, but it's just for your keys. And it looks really neat and it looks like it would be compact because my problem with this is how long it is. But yeah, I hope that helps quick releases and like magnetic quick releases like those. Anyway, I hope that helps. Awesome photo. Thank you for submitting again. I think you've been featured in the past, but you now have a second entry into the July giveaway. That is gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful and you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe to see more stuff like this in the future. If you wanna support what I'm doing here, just hit those links down below. I took the time to link 
every single thing that you saw in this video. If you click through those links, they are affiliate links. If you purchase anything, I get a little bit of a kickback. You can also support what I'm doing by going to carry.best and purchasing things directly from me over at Carry Commission, or you can go to patreon.com forward slash bestmedc. Be sure to follow us around the web. You can find us on Twitter and Instagram at bestmedc. You can find me, Taylor Martin, on Twitter and Instagram at caspertech. And until next time, carry on. to open my drink. No, this video is not brought to you by LaCroix. I wish it were. So LaCroix, if by chance you are watching this, shoot me an email. Let's, let's talk. I, I love LaCroix. Worth a try.